I recently made a video explaining how you can easily record a video podcast or interview. And in that video, I briefly mentioned the ability to display some chat questions on screen while you answer them. Well, in this video that you're watching right now, I want to talk about how you can host a live Q&A session. And of course, just how easy it is to do with Restream, which is the sponsor of this video. Well, we can start by setting it up. Go to Restream.io, log into your account, and then pick between Streaming with Studio, which is the Restream Studio, or Streaming with OBS, vMix, or any other broadcasting software. In our case, to keep things versatile and accessible, we're going to use a stream with Studio. That means that you can do this from any computer in the world as long as you have an internet connection. So it actually saved my previous settings, which is really cool. Let's do a quick recap of the studio. Top left is everything you want to display or hide. So this is where your participants, you, your screen share will be. And on the right, you have the three tabs for the live stream options, chat, caption, and also graphics. Remember that if you have multiple shows on top of right here, you can actually pick and create new styles for each show or each segment if you want to. But this is where we can edit basically the look of all of this. For example, if I want it to be purple for that one, can just go here, boom, and now it's purple. Great. We want rectangles, things like that. I think this could be cool for a QA. Um, this is caption. This is on the caption tab. So let's go to caption here and then hide this. Under graphics, if it's a live QA session and you already have your logo up there, maybe we don't need my name since we're not gonna have any guests. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna turn off participant names right there. Remember, you can go to settings right there on clicking on the cogwheel, pick the exact camera that you want to be using, your actual audio input, output. So input is gonna be your mic, output is gonna be your headset, for example. And if you want to go in advanced settings, you actually have echo cancellation, noise suppression, and everything that you need basically for your mic to sound better. In order to make this as professional as possible, where we are talking about like a live stream, we would want something like a starting soon screen, which you can upload if you have some. For example, you can download some for free at gumroad.com slash get level so it will be starting soon but if you want uh, pre-made countdown videos they actually have that just click on default graphics click down here and then click show on one of those like this one it will mute your audio while it's happening and it also has like a little audio in order to make people wait a little bit and then it will automatically turn off i believe or you can just click and hide it and then be like hi guys it's me get level and this is my live q a section section session <laughs> and uh, i'm gonna be talking to you guys and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the chat now this is restream the cool thing is that you can stream on multiple platforms at once and you will see the chat and you will be able to show those chats um, on screen so if we go to the chat tab right there for example and someone types this and you want to address it <laughs> first of all it tells you if it's coming from twitch from youtube or any of that uh, you can click show boom it'll appear so this has to do with the style that we chose so if you don't like this style you can go back here the graphics and go with this for example i think i like this style a little bit more but that's just my humble opinion you can go with the rounded rectangle too if that's your thing and basically while you're answering that question you can keep it up you can keep it just up on the screen like that and then hide it when you're done then pick the other one it helps you filter. You can also have an, a chat overlay that will display all of the chat, right? So anyone that types, it will show everything. But the problem here is that if you want to ignore some questions or if you just want to quick react and you don't want that to be part of the overall uh, video or live stream, you can ignore them. So without chat overlay, I think it's better if you manually pick which questions you want to answer. I think it makes more sense and it helps when you want to repurpose that live stream maybe into a YouTube video or just your VOD. Now the next step if you're actually going live is to go up there and click the title of your stream. So this one would be live Q&A session, section, session. Why am I <laughs> struggling with this? And this would be podcast talk shows. I can click next and here I can decide which platforms I want to stream on. So if I want to add a destination, you will see all the destinations that are available with Restream. Uh, you get even more if you have the pro plan, which I actually recommend you getting. Yeah, for example, I don't want to go live on my vlog channel. I can go live on my get on my level bot Twitch channel, for example, and I can click uh, close and then go live. I'm gonna open up my <laughs> bot channel. All right, so we are live here, but my internet connection is not the best. So the quality of the image is not gonna be great. But as you can see, the graphic elements are crisp. Let me type something in chat. Hi, 
testing testing just in case someone is looking at it because we are live I, apparently someone is because there's two people in, in chat right now so uh, you will see they appear here and now I can start maybe with a caption that says live Q&A so people will understand what's going on I can be like live and then add that and then I can show this okay so this is like a title this is what's going on during your intro I think that would be cool and once you're done presenting you know the situation and you have a couple people in the chat you can go there and click what you want to show and then start responding just like that hi gal level testing testing to you too <laughs> it's really that simple and the cool thing as you can see on screen it will show you their profile picture uh, their avatar basically and where they're talking from so if i had my youtube i would be live on youtube too so if someone is asking the question from youtube it gives a good idea to the viewers of where are those questions coming from and what you are currently talking about especially for people who just hop in and just like that when you're done streaming you can just click on end stream if you want to have an outro video you can put that too if you want to play one of those intro videos as an as an outro you can also do that so i would just go up here and press end stream are you sure you want to end the stream yes there you go and here you can give some uh, user experience feedback if we go back to twitch we will see that we are no longer live and we are showing our offline image uh, pay no attention to the well if you follow this channel you know why i have this as my offline image i need to change it but this is basically something that i made for someone else anyways this is how easy it is for you to host a live q a session now the cool thing this is restream you can stream on multiple platforms at once but the other cool thing with restream is that you can have participants all you have to do is click at the bottom here invite guests send them this link and you will be able to bring them in so maybe you want your chat to ask questions to your guests you can display the questions your guests will see the questions easy super super duper easy now, as i said earlier restream does have a pro plan a premium plan if you will and it gives you a bunch of option i definitely feel like it's worth it they have this new option called restream pairs that actually allows you to have your guests stream the interview on their channel so if you're inviting another content creator or someone else that has some social media platforms they will only have to click one single button to pair your stream with their stream and then your stream will be streamed on their platforms which i believe is a better way of hosting the stream than for example twitch's host or raid system and of course in pure restream fashion if people are typing on their platforms you will also see it on your chat personally i don't know any other platforms that does that and i think it's a pretty cool system if you would like to know more about how to set up the studio and all the options that you have please please go check out my video about how to record a live video podcast because i actually show every single option that you have at least most of the options but yeah this video was mostly to show you if you're doing live q a how easy it could really really be with restream if you have any questions or suggestions to help Restream be better, please leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you use my link in the description in order to check it out, test out Restream, and let me know what you think about it. In the meantime, I gotta thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.